Plural noun proposition papers. Today we're dealing with basic life conflicts, which is one of our courses. And what we ask our students to do is to write a plural noun proposition paper uh, following the watching of either a clip or even a video. Usually these are on the, the five to 15 minute side of things. They usually have something to do with current events. And the name of our course is Basic Life Conflicts because life is conflict. We are in conflict in life and there's certain things that we are going to repeatedly come across. Uh, maybe it's global warming, maybe it's uh, gun rights, maybe it's um, protests, maybe it's it's, uh, you know, the, the struggle that we have with, you know, race relationships. It doesn't matter. We're going to constantly be circling the wagon and, and coming back to some of the same uh, basic arguments that, that we've been having for years. And so what we want to do is to actually take a look at a clip and analyze almost like the old, you know, current event when you would look at you know, a, a daily newspaper and you'd kind of take a, take a look at the who, what, when, where, why, how, and, and then give a report. So for us, it's a little bit different because we're, we're going to watch it instead of read it. And then we're going to ask you because we want you to pull out the right information to use your critical thinking skills. And then also to be able to put into clear, coherent thought, either a summary, summary of what is being uh, stated or your own viewpoint, your your own opinion, which is which is uh, really what we would prefer is for you to uh, come up with your own positions. Uh, take a look at what uh, uh, what is being presented, cross check that with scripture, and you know how should you then live? Uh, think again, Christian. You know, think through this process of of how are you supposed to take this? Because again, like I said, the you know you know, pro-life argument is going to keep coming up over and over and over again. And these are some of our basic life challenges that we have today. So this course, again, is deal, is designed to get you to put on the paper then just some, some, some structure, some beliefs, some uh, talking points, if you would, uh, so that you will at least have a starting point for how and what you believe. Where do we begin? We begin again with the same, pro uh, uh, you know, if you're watching a video, we're going to ask you to use your Cornell notes, take your Cornell notes. From the Cornell notes, you can probably already draw out uh, a three-point proposition. You can already draw out some supporting evidence. And so you want to determine the proposition in your paper then compose the outline for your paper, uh, prepare the body, the facts, the evidence, uh, the, the, the support to your proposition. And then you'll go back, write a good introduction for your paper, grab their attention quickly, and then finally, you know, end with an exp explanation or, or, you know, end with, with you know, a, an exhortation, end with a, uh, a, a big challenge, you know, you, you know, you can ask questions, you can uh, direct people, but you want to formulate a conclusion, a direction to your paper. Some of the things you might want to consider that are a little unique to uh, basic life conflicts, pronoun proposition papers, and our processes, well, things to consider are, do you agree or disagree? So as you're writing your notes, as you're brainstorming, you, you can say, uh, we're talking about global warming. And let's just say you believe 100% that there is a global warming problem in that, of course, of course, there's always been a change in climate over the years. That, that's, that's nothing new. What's new is that you are the problem behind the change in the climate and that you have control over whether or not the climate can 
or the earth can be destroyed because of humans. Now, from a Christian standpoint, God is the author creator of the universe. God is the one who upholds the earth, the world. It's his earth. It's his world. Who do you think is in control of the hurricane, hurricanes? Who's in charge of the storms? In Job, it says, were you there? You know, are you the one who tells the ocean to stop? Do you hold the keys to the ocean, the keys to the doors that stop the ocean? And so we believe as believers that first and foremost, no human being has the ultimate authority on whether or not we are going to destroy planet Earth. But is there climate change? Sure, there's climate change. But what does that mean? So when you see fires in the state of California, does that mean it's because of the climate or does that mean because they didn't do a good job of, of weeding out all the dead trees that are in the forest? And so that's the question. Of course, we can see the same fact. Fact, 50,000 acres of land in California have burned down. Okay, great fact. But why? How? You know, somebody throwing out a cigarette butt is a lot different than just spontaneous combustion, right? The reason why it's able to spread so quickly, so rapidly, again, is forest management. The, the forests who have good forest management don't burn down. That's just a fact. So you want to see if you disagree or agree, and then now you got to come up with your supporting facts, right? Was your view changed? You know what? I used to think that um, there wasn't a global warming problem. I used to think that there wasn't an issue. But, you know, I've done some research now and it's like, wow, there's there's a, there's 200 fires, more fires a year in California than there were five years ago. Well, that that might change my view. Of course, the problem is that's not true. So doesn't change my view. Uh, what lessons did you learn? Did you learn any lessons? Hey, before I started studying uh, global warming, before I st started studying the effects that it might have on fires in California, you know what I never thought about? I never thought about uh, forest management. And then lo and behold, just a couple weeks ago, I'm driving to the Sierra Nevadas and I'm driving through areas where they're burning and on fire. And I'm also driving through areas where you could clearly see where, where the forest uh, rangers or, or, you know, they, they've chopped down trees, they've cleared out areas so that it's not that easy for a fire to spread through uh, rapidly through a forest because they don't have all that dead wood just lying around. It's like kindling, right? Uh, so I learned some lessons. I learned some things. Identify key terms. Now you're probably going to have to identify some, some key issues between, okay, what about global warming? What, what does that really mean? Um, what about you know, climate control? What about uh, forest management? Define those things. You have to identify key terms. Uh, not, not only define them, but identify them and, and bring them out. Those become your, your key talking points. Is this a political, is it a religious or a non-ideological view? I mean, it's funny that something like a, a forest fire becomes a, a strong political issue. Um, very, very interesting. And in a sense, in an indirect sense, it's, a, it's become a ideological view because you have all the people who, who are so concerned over climate control and global warming that it has become their religion. And as I stated, because of my religion and the belief that there's a creator of the universe, the creator of the earth, God, well, that changes my perspective as well. So uh, what personal applications do we draw from this? Is there anything that we can draw personally from this position? Uh, be sure to identify uh, whether this is a summary paper or, or a position paper so that the reader knows right away that, hey, you're trying to prove a point, right? You're, you're, you're trying to take me somewhere. Don't, don't be coy about this. Uh, I've got four reasons why I believe, dot, dot, dot. So now that I've done that and asked some of those questions, that'll really, really help you with determining kind of your three or four point proposition paper. Um, 
you come up with your three or four points. Now you can write your three or four statements. And so what are the uh, kind of the sample that I used here for basic life conflicts? It's okay. So I took it from the fire in California. I took it from global warming and I wanted to address a specific issue, the Green New Deal, right? The Green New Deal is, is essentially uh, the financial obligation and the the changes that we're going to make in the world, in America, to make sure that we uh, stop the cataclysmic death of the entire world within 10 years, because that's what they're telling us. So I wrote down the three key issues surrounding the Green New Deal are or is, okay? And then that's where you go. So very clearly, you know, okay, here are the three key issues. What are they? And that's what you want with your basic life conflicts uh, plural noun proposition paper. You want to take a subject, you want to be clear with it specifically. Notice I went from fires to the Green New Deal. It's like, okay, let's be very, very clear. The three reasons why I believe that the fires in California support global warming are, right? Let me be clear, the three reasons why I believe the fires in California do not support are, it doesn't matter. And then what we're gonna do is take those three points, now you have to prove your position. Prove your position. Uh, you wanna use facts, you can use statistics, be careful that you're not using your logical fallacies, right? We don't wanna use ad hominem, we don't wanna use straw man arguments we we don't want to use um arguments that are essentially just quoting somebody because they've written a book or 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 gone to harvard uh, that's not proof unfortunately what we see today and part of our process and why we want to go through basic youth conflicts and and make you use your critical thinking skills to not only think through the process but then write it down and then to challenge yourself to prove your point is because more and more we are being faced with an idea that you can just make a statement and, and that's enough. That you can take a, uh, a, a factual piece of evidence and then uh, turn that into something in, as, as, a, as a out of context to prove your point. So we really have to be very, very critical or, or very, very... Um, careful, I should say, when we look at news articles, news reports, um, when we see clips from, you know, radio, sh from TV shows, um, because current events are, are now more a part of the editorial process than just the reporting process. So that's plural noun proposition papers. Uh, using our basic life conflicts format.